And then, hey, y'all, so I thought I would give my little Frodo here a top coat because I definitely want him protected. Now, I've gone and done a uh, spray sealing sealant on my alcohol ink so that it's nice and ready for resin. A little bit left so I was kind of looking around for some a project that I could use it for and this is perfect I need to finish them off I'm trying to get every little bit I can out of this All right. that's that and then I got a little bit of clear on the bottom I got to be mindful here, I've got colorant in here and colorant in here, but this is clear, so I can use some of this with no problem. All right. So. Using my go-to Stone Coat Art Coat resin on this, especially with, um, alcohol ink, so I want to make sure I get as much protection as I can for it. And then I'll go put a thin coat on the edges to give it a nice touch. Now I've got a little bit of color mixed up here, and I was thinking about putting some wispies in there. So I thought I'd put some wispies in the background, maybe, and maybe his, maybe I'll just do his tail. Yeah, make his tail look like it's floating. All right, I'll get rid of the three hands, or gloves, not the hands. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put a whole lot of heat on this. It's just enough to get rid of the bubble. Bubbles. I just killed a glove. Let's try that again. My hands are a little bit on the sweaty side. I've been wearing gloves for a bit. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a torch. The thing will definitely pop the bubbles fast. is just your basic skewer and this is one I've been using for a while so it's got a couple little coats of resin on the tip of that and what I'm gonna do is I've got some black that I already have mixed up here and I'm just going to dip this into the black roll it on the edge a little bit so it picks up just a little bit on this Tip. It's always a fun part getting it to focus. Here we go. Try this. So there's just a little bit of resin on that tip. And I'm literally going to paint it through. Now he's got a very, very long tail. And it's not uncommon for it to drag in the grass when he's hanging out in the grass because his feet will sink in the grass but the tail will be on top. I wonder if I got this black opaque enough. It might not. I'll just go through a couple lines there. There we go. Now we're getting some build up. Just 
Just a little bit of wispies. Let's see, hit that with a... Seeing some bubbles there popping up. All right, let me bring you in for a close-up. Just a quickie video. It just adds a little bit in there. There is a lot of bubbles in it still trapped. All right, so I'll probably let this sit for a little bit and hit it again with some heat, and I'll take care of those bubbles when they come to the surface a little bit. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell. Notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all. All right, here's Ferdo the next day. He's got his nice little shiny coat on. He looks all sparkly. Well, not sparkly, but he's definitely all nice and shiny. So... Good wispies on the tail, very, very subtle, and that's okay. Again, I was using a color that wasn't really beefed up, so it was um, not what I would call opaque, but kind of on the smoky side. And uh, that's all right, because we're dealing with the silhouette here, and just added a little bit of something to it. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified, because you never know what I'm going to put up. Later, y'all.